Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It's Wednesday. It's January 25th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And another nice day. Um, another nice trend today, I guess I should say. Uh, it was really all uphill. We had one pretty big correction here, and then we just finished off heading up again. We had the break of uh, this trend line. And then we got a couple of legs up, and really that carried us into the close. Um, but this is an uptrend. This is just a continuation of yesterday's uptrend. And these are this is a strong trend. And you're not going to get any really big correction. I mean, this is a, a huge correction for a day like this. But you got the warning. It was coming way ahead of time. Look at the overshoot here. And you didn't get a second entry till way down here. And you're way below the MA. So at that point, you just want to sit tight. And, you know, I guarantee you there was people trying to pick this top all the way up. And maybe they got lucky right here and caught it. But if they didn't, they lost money anywhere else. And so when you see a trend like this, you just got to be patient. There's not a lot of setups. And, you know, you're not going to get a lot of good setups on a day like this. Um, if you get an opportunity to enter, you just really have to enter. And... Uh, because you're just not going to get a lot of big corrections. So, um, again, you had the warning that the break was coming here. And then you got another trend working right back up again. And this one played out. There's there's really a shorter term one there. And then if you use the first two swings, you got the close outside, new low, and it reversed. So, really straightforward. You had to be a little patient this morning. There wasn't really an entry in here. Uh, the only thing going... Is if you measure that first leg and then look for the second leg, you can see we really got a perfect measured move before we really corrected here. And then we started going higher again. So um, that might have given you a little bit of incentive. There's a failed second entry short right here. Notice that's a new swing low. This one's lower than this one. So you get a first entry short, and then you move up, and you get a second entry short. So you might have gone long right there. Um, I don't recommend that one. I think you're better off waiting. Uh, but this is a strong trend. We don't have a measured second leg yet, and we are. It's is a you know we're trending up. That's it. There's nothing. It's, you got to assume that it's probably a continuation of the trend from yesterday. And, but really, the first nice, easy setup you get is uh, just after the regular open. Notice what happens here. You make a new high, pull back first entry, pull back second entry. You get a little double bottom there, a little fail break. Nice little bullish reversal bar. Quick, easy move. We make a new high, and then we just correct a little bit. And notice what happens right here. Um, actually, I put that in the wrong spot. It's right there. Uh, notice the new low. You're coming back. There's a first entry, and you try to go higher, and then there's a second entry short, and this bounces right off of that trend line. Uh, it's not a great signal bar, but it's a trap, and you figure testing that line again and holding. I like going long on a break above that bar, and when it pulls back um, and bounces again, I'd probably add on there. Um, if because you're not going to be out of that one and if you didn't get in there get in here this one probably you can just make it blue as well and turns out to be a nice move we make a new high and of course if you draw that trend you can drag that up or if you didn't didn't see this yet for whatever reason if you drag draw it off the top and drag it down it fits perfect so it turns right where you would expect Pull back first entry, pull back second entry, and notice you get a little break there, move to a new low. Uh, that's a second entry long, and it's a little bitty bar, and it actually went lower first and then turned. When it went out the upper side, I'd just go long right there. And uh, your stop would need to go below the low of this bar. Wouldn't have mattered. It never came back. And actually, you probably... The only reason I didn't mark this one... Um, we did have a break of this trend channel over here, and we've got a couple of legs up now. So, and this is right into that double top. But on a strong trend day, you know, a higher low and a little reversal bar, and we're not back to the upper trend line, uh, I'm probably going long there. 
Uh, I will mark that one green. It's a little aggressive. And then, you get, of course, you get the trap here. And it's also a breakout pullback long from this double top here. It breaks out, pulls back. So I like uh, going long there, too. Uh, again, it's a little aggressive right in the high of the day. But it's a strong trend. But eventually, everything's going to turn or you're going to get a correction. And right after that, you do get a correction. Uh, it's tempting to go short here. But if this is the trend line you've already had a break and a big move to a new low, and that's just a first entry short, I'm not going to take that one. Um, even though you could almost treat that like a failed second entry long, I'm not taking it because it's been all uphill. And actually, on this reversal bar with a little break, this is like a repeat pattern of back here. And notice it just all starts all over again. And if you measure this leg... That would be my target on this one. And we missed it by a tick or so. So uh, so this is like a repeat happening all over again, and it starts it over again. So you might go along there. Uh, you got a second entry here, or high or low, basically is what I should call it. But there's not a very good setup bar. And notice we push on through the EMA, we pull back. Then you get the confirmation of the trend line, the failed second entry short. The reversal pattern, the whole nine yards go long right there. And you could have caught a runner there. A couple of these you probably could have caught a runner. And then there's uh, one more pullback right here to the trend line. It's a big bar, though. Um, so I was a little hesitant to make it blue. But you see it would have worked. And on a strong trend day, you got to take what you can get. If this bar would have been smaller or you could have got in further back, I'd have been probably made that one I probably would have made that one blue but under the circumstances and I thought maybe we might get one more entry right here but didn't happen and uh, that got us into the two o'clock hour so yeah not a lot of trades today but they're all really straightforward the whole day was really straightforward um, if you struggle with a day like this you know what happens is you get a few days like this, and then you get used to taking these things into the high, and then you get a range day. And then everything reverses on you as soon as you get in it. And so then you get used to the range day, and um, all of a sudden you get a trend day again. And and what you got to be able to do is understand that until you know what kind of day it is, you got to trade what you see. So you can't get locked into what range days do. You got to know what happens when there's a range, and you got to be able to trade it. And then you got to be able to recognize what happens when there's a range, and you got to be able to trade that. I mean, a trend, and then you got to be able to trade that. And you got to be able to switch gears. And even in the same day, sometimes you got to switch gears. And and that's hard to do until you get a lot of experience in seeing this every day. And that's what people tend to lose sight of. Um, you know, you get. Most days are going to, probably more days than not, are going to be range type days. It might be a big range with some nice trends up and down. Uh, but nice, strong trend days like this don't happen that often. That's the reason when we get one, take advantage of it. But you got to switch gears a little bit, too. So don't be afraid of that. And just like a trader told me yesterday, he says, yeah, I saw that trend going up, but I just couldn't make myself pull the trigger. Well... There's two things you got to be able to do. Not only do you have to understand price action and what the chart is doing, but you have to be able to have discipline and control. And when I say that, you need to be able to sit idle with your sit on your hands and do nothing for long periods of time when there's nothing happening. But when you do see a setup, you can't hesitate, you can't blink, you got to be able to jump in with no concern and take it. And if you can't do both of those things, you're going to struggle. And so that is the second part of being able to trade is to being able to control your discipline and uh, being able to say, hey, there's no setup. I got to sit tight. Or, hey, there's the setup. I can't be nervous. I can't be scared. I got to take it. And you take it. And sometimes you'll, you'll be wrong. And, you know, you can't let that shake you. You exit. You, you know, if you need to, get up, walk around, catch a breath of fresh air, sit back down, and you'd be surprised how everything suddenly clears up again. But some days the chart will just jump out at you, and it's crystal clear, 
and then other days you just can't seem to get in rhythm with it and those are the days that you're better off to get up and if you still can't get in rhythm with it when you sit back down again close it up and call it a day and come back the next day and start over again or go straight to sim and quit trade you know don't trade definitely don't trade live if you're struggling so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up really good trading day the last couple of days be nice if this continues uh, it looks like we're heading for new highs maybe if this continues uh, we're heading to 2300 pretty quick here um, so we'll see if we get there or not we're a few points away but it looks like what five points away as of today so we'll see what happens but I'm gonna wrap it up for today this is Mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time